They're the dogs and the handlers who help police in their search for missing people. This dog is certified in both human remains and trailing. He knows what he's looking for based on what he's wearing. Cassandra Albrich and her canine Griffin are certified in search and rescue. She's the co-founder of Wolverine State Search and Recovery. Yes! Good boy. On Sorry. this day, training on Detroit's east side, he quickly locates human cremains in a box. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Dogs and their handlers, all volunteers from across the country, are in Detroit focused on urban search and rescue. Training in this environment is just so different from the woods or the wilderness. They are working through traffic and abandoned homes and who knows what else. A dog being able to trail in a situation like this is a really unique skill set. They are given one scent and they follow that scent until they find that person regardless of what distractions might be around. From border collies to bloodhounds to German shepherds, these dogs are constantly training. It takes a thousand hours to get a dog certified, and this seminar, in conjunction with Wayne State Police, is important for everybody. They offer us resources that we don't have. Now, nationwide manpower is low on all law enforcement, and it's hard to get up to speed to have what we need. We could call 24-7 and they respond. It's just a benefit to everyone involved. Lost kids, criminal intent, cadaver training, the dogs do it all. The reward for them is finding the missing. For the handlers, it's finding answers. So there's someone out there all the time looking for a loved one. If my child was missing, I'd want someone help. Jimmy McDaniel says they've been on 12 searches already this year, always available to assist law enforcement, and they never charge for their services. I can't imagine anything more important than providing answers to a family that just doesn't know what happened. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.